Okay, excuse my crude lighting. Here's my new design concept. This represents the concrete pedestal that is already complete. Now I'm going to have four sets of cinder blocks for vents on the bottom, cold air in, and four sets at the top, cold, hot air out. This will be sealed off with a plate. This is an adapter plate. And I have this barrel I happen to have around the property. And, you know, I'm just kind of like making this up as I go. <laughs> There's a thousand ways you can do this. So this just seems to be working out okay. So the barrel's 14 and a half inches in diameter. This is the, um, so I'm going to have four coils, four of the 240 volt elements. They're on the outside in the corners. Now I was going to put them underneath. I thought about putting them underneath the cinder blocks to kind of heat them up. But it makes it kind of hard to get access because I'm going to get access from the top. There'll be a removable top. I may even have a way to drain the sand out of a, a drain tube. I'll get that. You know, I'll maybe, I'm not sure about that yet. So, also on this barrel, I'm, I have a bunch of this copper rod. It's about an eighth inch in diameter. It's actually steel, copper plated steel, which will be fine. And I'm going to, so this is kind of rough here. It's kind of busy. This represents the barrel here, this purple line. The barrel in the center of the system. And then these would be the copper rods. This would be the heat element. Now, this could go in between the element, but I don't want it to touch it. I, I guess it could touch. It ain't going to hurt anything. You don't get any power through that. But either way, It'll be kind of close. It may, it may enter. Well, I don't want to touch it because I'm, I need to be able to remove this if it needs repaired. So it'll just come close. And I may not even do in this. this. This is just an idea. So I probably will have the rods for sure. That seems fairly easy. I'll just drill these holes in the barrel, all down the barrel, put all these rods. They'll help pull the heat from the hot sand inside the barrel. The barrel will be hot also. The bricks will be hot up top. And even these will get warm in theory. So uh, that's the whole system pretty much. Now this represents the concrete wall, the external wall of the actual sand battery box. I didn't draw it in here because it would get too busy. And How's this looking? Not too bad. Both directions look like the. Ranger says it's fine. Look at these tumbleweeds. I think I let them get out of hand. I've never seen, I've had a few before. <laughs> so I made all these blocks as spacers to lift these cinder blocks up four for each one so I can and then I'm going to build a form around them and I'll pour this mortar build another form and then it'll probably be like a two inch form come up another two inches maybe or something and I'll cover it all with concrete or cement probably concrete That'll kind of seal it all off. 
and get it locked in place pretty much. There's going to be four of these, one in each of these corners. It's going to be like basically a four burner stove. There's the spacers. Okay, I think we've got everything mopped up, ready to go <clears throat> for the next phase. These are my little spacers to hold the cinder blocks up. These blocks are just weights to hold these forms in place. Looks like this will work. Something like this. I have a wall here, probably six inches thick to create the box. It's going to be a four burner. <coughs> I'm not sure. So that, and then there'll be another set of these cinder blocks up top here where the heat will come out. So this is the inlet for the cool air at the bottom. These will extend out because there's going to be insulation an insulated wall so there will probably be a, probably one more of these at least maybe two and all four of these same with up top this barrel I'm going to cut down a little bit and then there's going to be rods I'm going to draw this up so these I may offset these into this corner to make them more easily accessible for just in case I have to replace them. 